On a golden Wisconsin morning. Started out trying to make money on it. Filled with possibility. You got to remember when the cows come on, well, that ain't going to go down. It's a great day for Dave Rowe and his grandson Luke. We're weekend cowboys. It's the only time we get to pretend, I guess. To make believe. Where's your hat? I put it in there in my desk. Well, you better get it on. You're going to scare the cows without a hat on. It's a Rowe family tradition that dates to 1975. My brother Ralph, br <laughs> brother Dan, friend Doug. My brother Don and his wife Kay. Dave and his brothers bought 800 acres near Lake Puckaway, about 70 miles northeast of Madison. It's prime for pasture and play. The cattle crossing signs are new this year. We got those as a Christmas present right. from our uh, neighbors. All right, they're ready, so let's take them. The challenge is that those 800 acres are on an island separated by the Fox River. Go up river a little bit, Case. As much as you can much as you can. So the rows use a homemade barge to drive cattle from one side to the other. It's just a cattle roundup. That's all we call it. While the rows round up the cows, it's really the cows keeping the rows together. Very interesting. <laughs> I think these are our favorite times because uh, there's a lot of activity going on, a lot of fun. Our relatives come from about f three to four different states, Michigan, Minnesota, Illinois, somewhat spread out, but they show up for this. When they first came on the island, um, mom was pregnant with me, so I've been doing it since I was, you know, first born. Dave's son Chris comes back from Chicago, where he works for a company that manufactures trophies like Oscars and Emmys. There's always a reason to come up here and, you know, quote unquote work, but at the same time, it's it's really nice just to be up here to see see my cousins and see my nephews and sister and uncles and aunts. The young man on top with the <laughs> white shirt is our oldest son, uh, Greg. Greg Rowe is a school teacher in Boston. His cousin Casey is a lobbyist. Kevin's a doctor and Julie duh, Julie's a, a tech at a hospital and um, Danny works in a special needs facilities and um, Trish is an interior designer. And since none of them farm full time, they'll be weekend cowboys till the cows come home. Every day that you come up here and you have this, it really is a blessing because, I mean, there are so few families that have anything even remotely close to this. I mean, it's, it really is a beautiful thing, and I do feel really fortunate, and I know the rest of us do too.